matchup between the two goalies. We got the Eddington goalie of the year in Adelphi, and then Bavanese, who was certainly in contention for that. The starting lineup, Mekinek Grub and Paris also jumping in that starting lineup with Renner against Bentley, seeing them win 17 and 6 in the faceoffs. Goal score! Lemoyne on top first, it's Benedict! And you can already feel the energy, the passion, the intensity. These two teams are fired up, ready to get after it. Dolphins strike first. High early in the shot clock, you see a patient approach, and then it tends to happen quick. They get their shot. Wide open space, but saved by Vavanese. Recovered again by Adelphi, and add another save to the Vavanese total. And the Canisius transfer coming up big early. Jump shot, save. No, it gets through. That's a goal for Lemoyne. Call out Kyle Caves. Just snuck by Renner, and Caves just letting one rip. It's hard to attack. Under 10 seconds on the shot clock. Pezzamenti gives it up. Spin there from Stanit. Goes top right. Scores! Oh, and Stanit strikes, and the Finns are on top 3 2. Seconds to work with. Lambert, he attacks. Gives it up across, but contact. It was late on Sheehan. And a rebound shot scores the recovery, Ethan Loun. And Lemoyne is on top for three, 30 and a half seconds to go. Ranowski starts. He dodges left, gives it up, quick shot, and it scores right before the buzzer expires. I don't oh. think you could write a more dramatic first half, Sammy. That was incredible. Some patience here from Lemoyne. This is what you want to see. Here's Van Epps. He goes left. Shot scores! Van Epps! And we're knotted up at five. And that's where just individual talent comes into play. Small margin for error. And they're taking care of business on their side of the ball and allowing giving their offense an opportunity to be creative. Caves to Loud and Loud finds the back of the net. He tickles twine. <laughs> and the Finns are on top six five. Then he can just drop it off to the roller and they get an open look. And behind the back scores! Oh my goodness! What are you doing, Ethan Lown? A hat trick! My I'm, oh my! What did, what did we just see? There, there, Sammy, there's no words for that right there. That was unbelievable. Catches it on the run. Guy all over him. Whips it over his shoulder. That was unbelievable. I didn't think he had an angle to even do a BTB in that moment. I mean, he's on a roll. We saw that last goal. We love the celebration. We see the confidence, and that confidence is parlayed to the nicest goal we've seen today, certainly. Somebody dial up Bristol, Connecticut. That's got to find a way on ESPN. Action on passes behind goal to the front. And it gives it up. Sheehan! And they're back up by two. The connection between Benedict and Sheehan puts them up 8-6. This moment is like and what it takes to be the deciding team and the winning team in another goal. It's Sheehan. What a feed there from Stanit to Sheehan. The Finns make it 9-6. And we've seen the Panthers take that away all game. We've rarely seen that pass into the middle. It's usually Sheehan kind of trying to find some space in there. That time the Finns continuing to know what's going to get them to the next point. They find Sheehan and gets it done. The confident Pesamenti is as unstoppable as it gets in the country. And finds the net in the tightest of windows. Wow, what a goal there. Seth Lambert strikes and they get their goal back here up by three. Because obviously you can't afford to concede again, but you also don't want to spend too much time defending. You need the ball on back on offense. And it's Pezzamenti. It was inevitable. He scores, and it's another flag thrown. They score in a man-up situation, and they create another man-up situation. Ends up with it back, saved there by Vavanese. Possession stays alive, no whistle blown. They're going to say he crossed the crease, and it's Finn's ball. A big point-blank stop from Vavanese. 366th career win. I think that's a lot. I don't. I think it's quite a lot. bit, and uh, you wouldn't know it because he's a humble guy, um, goes about his business the right way, and has just been an unbelievable leader for this program. And the Finns are fired up. They're going to move on. It'll be 1 o'clock right here at Ted Grant Field.
next week, next Sunday, same time, same place. They're still waiting, the winner of Mercy Hearst and St. Anselm, so make sure to go tune into that one the rest of the way. But for Sam St. Jean, James McGlynn, Kevin Turry, and everyone else that helped put the broadcast on, thank you guys so much for listening. We'll see you guys next weekend as the Finns look to continue their title chase.